this knife. <laughs> He's gonna cut himself. This episode of Farts and Crafts is brought to you by Glide. <laughs> What's up, guys? Max here for Destructoid. <laughs> uh, sorry. What's up, guys? Max here for Destructoid. Welcome back to another episode of Farts and Crafts. This is the YouTube series where I draw pictures of things because it's fun. Um, last week I drew a picture of, of Pokemon and Call of Duty combined into this horrible monstrosity, and you guys seem to get a kick out of that. And a bunch of you actually sent me submissions of your own Farts and Crafts that you did at home. Uh, preferably in the bathroom or away from mixed company. And this one's from Nico Cuevas. This is from Infant Launcher. Here's Masters Jeremy's submission. Adrian G. Schmidt sent this one in. Scott Davis, who actually sent me a submission a couple weeks ago, sent me this one. And then on Snapchat, I got hit up by Oh Fierce and Won't Work for Food. So thank you guys for sending those my way. It's nice to know I'm not the only one drawing disgusting, stupid Pokemon fan art. Uh, we had a big week lined up for today, and then uh, my editor is actually absent because of some stuff that happened, so we're in sort of a little bit of a hurry. Uh, I'm flustered, if you can't tell, by my complexion. Uh, so I'm gonna do something real simple this week that actually is, is perfectly fun for me. I think you'll enjoy it too. Uh, I'm gonna draw one of my favorite things that I ever draw. This suggestion comes by way of Arthur Hamer, who says, Dude, Max, why don't you just draw Boba Fett? You know that's what you want to do anyway. So I'm gonna draw Boba Fett. I've been drawing Boba Fett from, from since I was like in fifth grade. I can draw Boba Fett from memory. I'm really good at drawing Boba Fett, I think. So let's draw Boba Fett. Ba -da 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 -da. Boba Fett, Boba Fett. So somebody sent me a, uh, one of the Boba Fett Halloween masks. Uh, unfortunately it is one of the cheaper, newer ones. Um, back in the day they made like these wonderful hard plastic ones that were Actually, super like durable, um, but I'm, I'm thinking I might just kind of like trick it out. And I, I cut the, I took a Dremel and I cut out the, this part of the visor, the T-shape there. Um, and I kind of want to make it, it doesn't really fit on my head, so I kind of want to just make it as like a, like a decorative prop replica type of thing. So in the time between Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi, a bunch of different things happened to Boba Fett's character design. Um, most obviously, the color of his jetpack and his gauntlets changes. In Empire, it's all kind of the same teal green that most of his armor is, but uh, his gauntlets are green, and then his jetpack is kind of a bunch of different sort of shades of like, you know, teal and, and, and gray. And then in, uh, in Return of the Jedi, his backpack is like all, all sorts of rainbow colors, and his gauntlets are this kind of maroonish red. And I believe his rifle design changes. Um, I'm personally much fonder of the Empire design. I think it makes much more sense for a bounty hunter to have this kind of uniform, you know, kind of grayish look. I'm not sure why red gauntlets would be a thing. Though, I mean, I guess you got the guys like the Empire's Crimson Guards. If you're, if you're enough of a badass, it doesn't matter what color your armor is. I periodically get people tell me Boba Fett is an overrated character, and he's not, he's not cool, and he just he falls into a pit, that's all he does in the movie, and it's like, yeah, sure, that's all he does in the movie, but he's also got this amazing, badass character design. Um, I think he's probably one of the best designed characters in all of, all of Star Wars. Um, and if you'd like to know why I think Boba Fett is really cool, you should go read the short story, Last Man Standing, by... Daniel Keyes Moran, which you can find in the Tales of the Bounty Hunters short story collection, which um, kind of like Old Man Logan or Gran Torino, or really any one of those stories where there's an old guy who's really badass and cool, um, but it's about Boba Fett and Han Solo. What's interesting though is that's, uh, that came out in 1996, I think, uh, and since then, some shit has happened to Star Wars canon, namely they've fucking gone and changed it all. So back then, you know, Boba Fett wasn't a clone, he was just this pissed off old guy. Basically like an old cop, like he was kind of Max Payne actually. A little less of a drunk, a little more of a hard ass. Farts and Crafts will be right back after these messages. Ark, what pocket animal is this? Fed up with the hassle of selling your games online? Well, stop doing it that way then. 
Introducing Glide, Glide, the easiest way to transform those smelly old games you don't want anymore into hot, sexy piles of cash. Ooh. After creating a free account, just click sell on the Glide website, find your item, describe its condition, and name your price. That's all it takes to list it. No description writing or picture taking necessary. Yeah. Once your item sells, Glide will send you a shipping kit with everything you need to get your old game to its new owner. Everything's pre-addressed, prepaid, insured, and tracked the whole way, so all you have to do is put it in the mail. Once your buyer receives the shipment, payment will be deposited into your Glide account. Use the cash to shop on Glide, have it transferred to your bank account, get a check mailed to you, or even be paid in Bitcoin. Even if you're not looking to sell, Glide's got a great selection of pre-owned games, phones, tablets, and iPods for stupidly reasonable prices. Sign up today, head to detoy.tv slash Glide. It's a great service, and every sign up helps support Destructo. What pocket animal is this? It's the charred lizard! So there you go. It's a little Boba Fett, and he's walking his Sarlacc pit. I totally pulled that one out of my ass. I didn't even know what I was gonna draw him doing. I was like, should I draw him riding on a brontosaurus, eating pizza, going to the bathroom, doing a skateboard? I don't know, Boba Fett can do all kinds of stuff, but in this picture, he's walking a little old Sarlacc. Uh, you guys should send me your own pictures of your favorite Star Wars characters. It doesn't have to be Boba Fett, though he is the best Star Wars character. Seriously, that's a fact, according to George Lucas himself. Rest in peace, never forget. I'm just kidding, he's still alive, I think. Um, but yeah, if you want to send me your own fun submissions or suggestions or pictures or sects or whatever, uh, I'm Max at Destructoid.com. You can find me on Tumblr, I'm Max Scoville. You can find me on Instagram, I'm Max Scoville. You can find me on Twitter, I'm Max Scoville. You can find me on Snapchat, I'm Bonglord69. Um, yeah, and if you have any suggestions for what I should do next week, leave them in the comments right here on YouTube or on Destructoid.com, a fine website full of all sorts of gaming news and things of that sort. I will see you guys next week.